This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. What up, JP Nation? This your boy, JP. Today, we are reacted to what NBA legends think of Caitlin Clark. And it's been a difficult <laughs> time for in the WNBA in terms of the physicality because people are talking in her. Um, but at the same time, she is bringing new eyeballs. It's not just her, it's the rookie class, you know, Andrew Reese, Cameron Brink. But um, they're bringing in eyeballs of people that haven't watched the WNBA before. They've seen Caitlin Clark in college and how great of a college player she was and now transitioned to the WNBA, where she's doing pretty good for herself, except for those high turnovers. But the FIBA's not a great team, though. But she, eventually, they'll get it figured out, though. So um, I am definitely want to keep it positive because it's been just a lot of controversy with Caitlin Clark with the media and all that so we're gonna go ahead and get into this video of what NBA legends think of Caitlin Clark make sure you like comment and subscribe Caitlin Clark this young phenom has been turning heads and drawing comparisons to some of the greatest athletes of all time Tiger Woods Serena Williams Magic Johnson Hello. and Larry Wow Lee. they all revolutionized their sports and now the spotlight is on Caitlin Clark to do the same for women's that basketball. Tiger Woods and Serena what do NBA and WNBA legends think of her the one thing for Caitlin that is really going to translate her offensive game is going to translate to the WNBA the one thing that I love that she's bringing to her sport more people want to watch Caitlin man and what she's doing for women's basketball is pretty incredible. At first, the narrative was overwhelmingly positive. She certainly has been celebrated as a transformative figure in basketball, drawing attention not just for her skills, but also for her potential to elevate the entire league. But as time has gone by, the views have become more varied. Let's start with Shaquille O'Neal. Before entering the WNBA, Clark became the NCAA's all-time leading scorer, surpassing the previous record held by Kelsey Plum. This record-breaking moment came with a spectacular long-range three from the logo <laughs> during remember. a game where Iowa triumphed over Michigan. But scoring isn't the only area where Caitlin shines. According to O'Neal, a four-time NBA champion and basketball Hall of Famer, Clark is the best female collegiate player ever. Phenomenal. I, I'm going to go on the record and say she's the best female collegiate player ever. Ever? High ever. praise, ever. too. Ever. That's ever. high praise. My amor, I said what I said. Never. And despite some That's high praise. his peers on the set, Shaq stood firm on his stance. Ross, I said what I no said. Yeah. Uh, hey, Caitlin Clark is amazing. It's my favorite. Uh, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. And it's hard to argue with him, given Caitlin's dominance throughout her college career. Clark has dominated the Big Ten like no one before. She's the only player, man or woman, in NCAA Division I history to lead her conference in scoring and assists for four consecutive seasons. Wow, I didn't know that. She's also the Big Ten's all-time leader in points and assists and notched multiple Player of the Year awards. Under her lead, Iowa boasted a formidable record of 55-18 and 18 in Big Ten play. They clinched the Big Ten tournament title three times and the regular season title once during her tenure. And Shaq isn't the only basketball great captivated by Caitlin Clark's prowess. Cheryl Swoops, a legend in her own right, praised Caitlin's unparalleled shooting ability. Swoops remarked, Caitlin Clark is probably the best shooter, especially in the college game, that I've ever seen. I'm not saying that there haven't been others, but that I've ever seen, she has absolutely taken the women's game to a different level. She brought more eyes. People who never watched a single game of women's basketball tuned in because they wanted to see who is this little girl from Iowa shooting these logo threes. Who does that remind you of? <laughs> who does that remind you of? You know, that that guy over there in Ga Golden State, the baby face assassin, you know, known by chef, starts with an S, uh, T-E-P-H-E-N, space. C U R R Y. Because how them little girls was looking at Caitlin Clark with the logo threes, them little boys is like, man, who is this guy shooting all these threes who's the greatest shooter of all time? And Steph Curry. Mm. But that's how I place from Cheryl Swoop, though, one of the greatest college, uh, not college, one of the greatest women basketball players of all time. My apologies, sir. My apologies. But it's not just the legends of the past who recognize Clark's talent. A current NBA superstar sees greatness in her too. Stephen Curry, mm. often compared to Clark's own sharpshooting, praised her during this year's All-Star Weekend. He said, 
What up, y'all? JP is here. I want to thank my sponsor, BetUS, for this video. If you sign up for BetUS today, all you got to do is click the link below the YouTube description. You'll get 125% bonus on your first three deposits, plus a 10% gambler's insurance. Here's more from NFL legend Michael Vick. Michael Vick at BetUS.com. Catch an incredible 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get it all. Huge bonuses, great odds, a race book, live in-game betting, and a casino. BetUS, my online sports book and casino. What are you waiting for? Sign up today! Caitlin is special. Her story, journey, the record speaks for itself, and it's cool. It's just dope from a scoring perspective, from a shooting perspective. Just a hooper that's doing what she's doing. Mm. While some may compare her to Stephen Curry, she is forging her own path in the basketball world. However, while accolades from legends and praise from peers were a spotlight on Clark's collegiate success, not everyone is ready to place her on the pedestal just yet. Brianna <laughs> Stewart, a four-time national champion and dominant figure in women's basketball, MVP last shares season. strong opinions about what it takes to be considered among the greatest. Brianna believes that while Clark's achievements are impressive, winning a championship is a crucial milestone for being considered one of college basketball's Mount Rushmore. Mm. She said, Does Caitlin Clark need a championship to be considered one of the greats in women's college basketball history? Yeah, she does. <laughs> I think so. Because then it's gonna, you're going to look 10 years back, you're going to see all the, the records she's broken and the, the points. I mean, put the like peaks in the Mount Rushmore of college play basketball players. You never won a title. So you need one. Stewart's comment sparks a debate. Yes, many greats like Diana Taurasi, Brittany Griner, and Sue Bird have championships under the belt. But does a championship really define greatness? No. Caitlin Clark has shattered records and redefined expectations without claiming a national title. Facts. Even without a championship, her resume is undeniably impressive. She is a two-time unanimous National Player of the Year, holds the NCAA Division I all-time scoring record, and both the NCAA Tournament three-point and scoring career records, among other accolades. But now, let's turn to another basketball icon, Diana Taurasi, who also weighed in on Clark's transition to the WNBA. Diana, known for her critical insights and vast experience, shared her thoughts with Scott Van Pelt. Uh, a reality is coming. Okay. <laughs> you know, there's, there's levels to this thing. And that's just life. We all went through it. Of course. Uh, then you see it on the NBA side. It, I understand Diana's side. point. Well, you know, it's different levels. It's superhuman playing against 18 year olds, but you're going to come with some grown women that have been playing professional basketball for a long time. Not saying that it's not going to translate because when you're great at what you do, you're just going to get better. But there is going to be a transition period where you're going to have to give yourself some grace as a rookie. And, uh, you know, it might take a little bit longer for some people. Rossi mm. emphasized the inevitable transition challenges that Caitlin will face entering a league with season. I can't wait till they players. face each other. Her words are a reminder of the adjustment period even the most talented players face when entering the WNBA. The game changes, the competition intensifies, and the learning curve is steep. But not everyone was doubting Clark's ability to adapt and thrive in the WNBA. On a first take appearance, Hall of Famer Rebecca Lobo expressed confidence in Clark's scoring abilities transitioning to the pro game. However, she highlighted the challenges of a more physical defense. Um, and the one thing for Caitlin that is really going to translate, her offensive game is going to translate to the WNBA, her logo threes, her ability to pass. You know, people talk a lot about how the defenses she's going to face are going to be much better than they are in college. That is true. Her teammates are also going to be much better than they are in college. And, and that's not a knock on Iowa. That's just a, a mere fact. What I hope WNBA players understand is that yes, they should get up in Caitlin Clark. They should do everything they can to slow her down, but they need to not do it in, in any kind of a dirty way because mm -hmm. the WNBA players have been talking for years about how they want chartered flights. They've been talking for years mm -hmm. about how they want to increase their salaries. And who is going to drive that is Caitlin Clark. Lobo believes mm -hmm. that Clark is uniquely positioned to generate unprecedented revenue for the WNBA. And according to her, Clark's national spotlight is expected to bring extra attention to the league's current stars. Yep. And speaking of star power bringing attention to the league, NBA superstar LeBron James also expressed his enthusiasm for Caitlin's game. Lobo isn't alone in her optimism. LeBron also sees Clark as a revolutionary figure in women's basketball. He tweeted in April that, if you don't rock with Caitlin Clark game, you're just a flat out hater. And he recently dedicated a segment of his podcast, Mind the Game, to discuss Caitlin's impact. 
he said. The one thing that I love that she's bringing to her sport, more people want to watch. More people want to tune in. I saw for the first time they had a chartered plane. That should be celebrated in its own right. For anyone that's, you know, in sports that's flown commercial or flown, you know, charter, that should be celebrated. And it's because of Caitlin Clark. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it done. Caitlin Clark is the reason why a lot of great things is going to happen for the WNBA. Now, fresh off her record-breaking college career and a stylish draft day appearance in a Prada skirt suit, <laughs> Caitlin Clark was selected by the Indiana Fever, ready to take the WNBA by storm. And before even stepping onto the court, she had already signed a signature shoe deal, signaling for Jersey sold out. However, her transition to the professional level hasn't been without its challenges. Yeah. The spotlight has been intense. Not just for fans and media, but also for her peers. Peels. The amount of attention Clark receives has sparked debate among fellow players and observers alike. Some players feel that Clark, as a media darling, has been receiving disproportionate attention compared to her peers, which has led to mixed feelings within That's the league. Jealousy. Additionally, there's a broader conversation about the advancements in women's basketball, such as better travel accommodations that many believe were overdue. The sentiment among some veterans is that the improvements in conditions and coverage, while welcome, should not be credited solely to Clark's arrival, but are part of a long overdue recognition of women's basketball. Due to these factors, Caitlin Clark has faced considerable criticism prompting Charles Barkley to step in and defend her. During a TNT broadcast, Barkley leapt to defend Caitlin Clark amid criticism, echoing LeBron James' earlier comments about improvements in the <laughs> <Penny play>. <laughs> But his comments, intended to support Clark, ended up inflaming Backlash, yeah. Barkley said, You women out there, y'all petty, man. Y'all should be thinking that girl for getting y'all ass private charters, all the money and visibility she bring into the WNBA. <laughs> Don't be petty like dudes. Barkley's comments stirred immediate reactions across the league. He don't care. Blunt delivery and choice words were met with disapproval from many players and coaches. Los Angeles Sparks player Dierica Hamby responded with a tweet expressing her disbelief. Clearly frustrated with Barkley's remarks, she wrote, Seriously? WTF are you talking? <laughs> Meanwhile, former LA Sparks player Chani Aguamika took a more conciliatory tone. She wrote, Every WNBA player I know supports this rookie class and are grateful for the spotlight and money that Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, and company are bringing to the W. However, hate her or not, Clark's arrival in the WNBA brings it with high expectations yep. and hope for success. Last year, the women's NCAA tournament finals 10 million viewers, viewers, far surpassing the WNBA finals average of 730,000. Mm. This stark contrast highlights the potential for growth in women's professional basketball, suggesting the stars like Clark could be pivotal in bridging this gap. Her star power has not only brought new eyes to the games, but it's also accelerated conversations about improving conditions and support for the players. And as the conversation about Clark's impact in the WNBA unfolds, more voices from the basketball world are joining in to share their perspectives. On the Club 520 podcast, Jeff Teague shared his thoughts on the young star. Teague not only expressed his admiration for Caitlin Clark, but also voiced his frustration with the criticism she has faced since joining the WNBA. Like, they played this all wrong, bro. Terribly wrong. They were supposed to gas this shit. This is why people don't watch this shit when y'all leave college. Women's sports, because y'all hating on the best thing that's going to happen to the W for bro. a long time. With legends of both the NBA and WNBA weighing in, Caitlin stands at the precipice of potentially reshaping women's basketball. She's a beacon for the WNBA's future, whether she's smashing records or just plain smashing expectations. Mm. Caitlin Clark is a name we'll be hearing a lot about. So, as we watch her career unfold, one thing is certain. The game might just change. Stay tuned and keep watching because this story is far from over. Uh, great video by Mr. Sports of breaking down uh, the positives and the negatives of uh, Caitlin Clark in the WNBA of what in WNBA and NBA legends think about Caitlin Clark. If I was Caitlin Clark, I would not worry about the hatred coming from, you know, the players or anything. Just keep hooping, just keep doing your thing and all that. Now, she is bringing new eyes to the WNBA uh, just because of just how box office she is. It's not just so Angel Reese is doing it too as well. Kim Brink, all these, this rookie class is bringing eyes, but she is the main attraction right here. Um, you know, uh, the improved conditions of the WNBA with the 
charter flights and all that. Um, the problem is is the the WNBA players that's in here now and also in the past, they just wish they could have got more recognition um, in terms of the conditions, in terms of more promotion, in terms of more eyes. Because you have, you have great players in the WNBA like Aja Wilson, Sabrina, uh, Brianna Stewart, just to name a few. You have past players like Lisa Leslie. They just they just wish that they would have been more. They wish they could have got more recognition, more and have the conditions improve at that time. They wish they could have got more promotion. That's the problem. That's where the disconnect is. Is that they felt like the conditions should have improved a long time ago. The promotion should have been there a long time ago, um, and they are taking it out on a woman that is bringing eyes and improving conditions in the WNBA because uh, and quote unquote what Jeff T says she's the best thing for the WNBA and people acting and and I also don't like about how the media can kind of store up everything yeah she's a media darling yeah she's a white basketball player that can really play too as well what I don't like is how they make it seem that Caitlin Clark owes owns the WNBA like she's the sole proprietor owner of the of the WNBA she's the best thing to slice bread when you have all these other players that are great in their own way like Adrian Wilson finally got a signature shoe I'm really happy for him and just don't get that recognition you know don't get that hype like they have with Caitlin Clark um, so that's where the disconnect is. But yeah, like I said, if I was Caitlin Clark, I wouldn't worry about it. I'd just keep hooping because people going to be coming after you. When you have a big target on your back that people are paying attention to, yeah, players is going to come right after you. So I wouldn't worry. Just keep on hooping. She won Rookie of the Month, which I'm really happy about. Just keep on hooping. Keep on hooping. Keep Try to keep earning that respect. The respect will be there. The respect will be there. The Fever's not a great team right now, and hopefully they can figure things out, though. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments of um, the K uh, how Caitlin Clark is doing in the WNBA and what's your thoughts about the controversy that's been going on with Caitlin Clark and the WNBA players and the organization as a whole and the media, too, as well. Make sure you like this video, too, as well. Make sure you um, let me know what to react to next. Make sure you subscribe to It's Just JP for more content. I'm JP. We'll see you next video.